Okay, so this is canvas number two. And I just want to start off on this one with a little bit of texture. Uh, a little bit there, a little bit there. Not really sure where I'm going with this one yet. I just had the idea when I was finishing off the other one, so let's go with this. I've got some leftover gel medium, so we want to use that up. I don't know why I just did that. There we go. And that is an interesting start for that canvas and I'm going to leave that to dry and think about what I'm going to do on top. And these flowers and I think they're going to go on there. <coughs> but I want to just add a little bit more interest to the background. of that and some white. I don't want it too dark. Let's see what we get with that. too much so I'll probably use it on another I might use it on another one of these canvases, I don't know. I kinda of feel like I have quite a lot to do on them now. I don't want to lose momentum so I'm trying to trying to get on with them now. <coughs> right. Now this stencil does not always work because it's quite fine. So try not to overload it with paint. that texture underneath is going to make it quite difficult. Hmm. It's kind of blobby. Uh, 
will go with it just for a bit of interest and then I might add some stamping. I got a new stamp the other day so I'm eager to try it out. I'm going to leave that like that and I will dry it and I'll be back. Actually I decided to make a slightly darker purple. Just add a bit more purple to that one. Just to differentiate between that one. Then grab the sponge again and use this butterfly stencil. And just have a few butterflies on there. And then, yeah, that's perfect placement. I was going to put that there anyway. That tiny little one there. Well, it's not tiny. Put that little one there. <laughs> and there we go. So now I'm going to dry that. And I'll be back. Okay, so let's try this stamp out. It's one big stamp. And I'm not expecting it to be perfect because of all the texture. I just want a little bit of interest. So I'm just going to cut this corner. Gothic purple stays on. Try not to move it when I press it down. It's not perfect because of the texture. I'm just going to clean the stamp off there. Right. Put that back there. And let's just quickly blast it just to dry that ink
this to medium. Spatula needs a clean. I will do that later. <laughs> the end of this now so it's very thick and gloopy okay, I'll very carefully place these they get very brittle when they're dry the flowers um, a bit more at the top there I'm going to open my new one. Ooh. Look how creamy that is. Gently, I'm going to go over the top to seal these flowers in. Very gentle. As I say, the flowers are very brittle, but I want to make sure they're completely covered and sealed. And that should protect them and. We'll stay like that for, let's say for a lifetime, not forever. <laughs> I'm not sure they'll stay forever, but there we go. Right, now I'm going to go away and find myself a nice phrase or title. <coughs> To add in this corner. Okay, I think I found a lovely sentiment for this. This is from um, Remy's Small Art, and hold that up for you. Uh, she will have these on her Etsy. I got this as part of her kit, one of her kits from Etsy, but she does do the stickers separately. And I thought this was perfect because we have some flowers allow your soul to grow and I think I'm going to put it here I'm going to put it in that wet gel medium and press it in nicely Oh, 
and I'm just gonna put a little bit of gel medium over the top. Again, it's going to encapsulate it, protect it. It's also going to take any of the shine off it that it has. It's sort of like a frosted effect. I'm going to kind of spread it out with my finger, I think, so it's a bit smoother. And there we go. Now I'm going to allow that to dry and it will probably take a long time because of all that gel medium. There's a lot there. But once it's finished I will upload this video and I will include a nice photograph at the end so you can see what it looks like all nice and dry. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that if you have found this piece of artwork that you enjoy that too. Okay then, thank you for watching. Goodbye.